Hey guys, it's Jesse. I just got my new uh, Stuber Tall uh, Chin Rest from Fiddlerman.com. Uh, so today I'm going to go ahead and put it on my violin and let you guys see uh, what the difference looks like. I have on here right now just the standard uh, violin chin rest that comes with basically all your beginner models. Uh, nothing special about it. Uh, it's just a standard chin rest. Uh, you see I don't use the, uh, the shoulder rest like a lot of players do. Uh, I just use a little shoulder pad and I like to have it up on my shoulder and that's that's what it looks like as it is right now without the new uh, chin rest the new uh, stuber tall so I'm gonna put that on real quick and uh, we'll take a look at what the difference is all right guys so I've taken my stuber tall model out of the package and let's take a quick look at it uh, right off the bat one really awesome thing that we can see right here is that right there attached to it is the key for the chin rest and what we'll use that for, obviously, if you're not tracking, is the holes right here to uh, turn it but back to the chin rest. All right, so it's got the cork, obviously, on the uh, solid ebony wood here. Um, the cork's attached very firmly. Um, obviously, I'm not going to sit here and try to pry it off, but uh, it doesn't seem to be loose at all, which is uh, phenomenal. And then, of course, it's got the uh, the cork padding on the bottom side there as well. So, there you go. There's the chin rest. Uh, I'm going to pull my other one off, and then we'll compare them side by side so we can take a look at them. So you can see the profile difference on them. All right, guys. I got my old uh, chin rest off. So, let's take a look at this one real quick. You can see there's just uh, the two spots right there in the cork. Uh, of cork, I should say, at the bottom there of the uh, chin rest right where it sits uh, over my tailpiece and then on the bottom there's a piece of cork right there but unfortunately it's fallen off so it was literally just sitting there uh, on my violin because of the pressure between the chin rest and the violin itself so not as high quality also on this one if you notice you can actually remove this piece very easily uh, actually, I'm going to go ahead and pull that off for now anyway. Um, here we go. All right. So we can get a good look at the profile difference on these two. Uh, lining them up at the bottom, you can see with the tall, my uh, chin's going to sit a little bit taller, a little bit up above the, uh, in comparison to the other chin rest. So that's that. Now let's put the uh, Stuber on and we'll see what the difference is. All right guys, so I got the new Stuber tall chin rest on my violin. I'm about to try it out. I've got my uh, shoulder pad on there and let's just see uh, where it sits. Okay, violin's up on my shoulder. Oh, and there it is. So right away I have contact with my violin and I can feel it. feel like I have good sturdy position yeah, that's actually quite a bit nicer, I think. So, um, initial impression feels pretty good. Uh, feels like it's definitely adding a little bit of stability since I have that extra height uh, without clamping down on my chin so hard. Um, kind of hooks the uh, chin rest, kind of hooks onto my jaw pretty, pretty good, I think. So, that's that. Uh, so I'm going to play around with it a little bit, uh, see uh, see how much it changes my playing at all, and uh, that's it. So if you got any questions, let me know. Thanks.